A few months back, we got a really special bike in the shop. It's a 1957 Harley-Davidson Panhead prototype made by famous customizers SNS Cycles. This baby hadn't been started in 20 years, and getting her up and running wasn't easy. <laughs> If anybody was up to the task, it's my man, Shannon. We completely restored and repainted this beautiful piece of history, and she looks better than new, if I do say so myself. What's up? Ah, there's a man himself. Ernest is here today with his son-in-law, Rex, to pick this bike up, and he's sure been through a lot in his life, and I'm hoping that today we can make things a little bit better for him. Rex, you brought us this bike. Heck yeah. Why did you bring it to us? Because we heard you were the best there is. That's what I like to hear. That's what That's I like what to hear. Yeah. Ernest, let me ask you, man. When did you buy this bike? 1977. This bike has history. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely it's beautiful. beautiful. You want to see your bike? Yeah. Can't wait to get his bike. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Just hang out right here. Shit yep. Come on, man. Bring out that panhead. You hear that? That's your That's bike. your bike. No way. We wanted to keep this historic prototype as original as possible, but she desperately needed a tune-up from head to toe. Shannon worked his magic and got her running again while preserving the original engine, front end, and seat. He also painstakingly fabricated a brand new rear fender to match the original. Then Ryan topped her off with a beautiful new paint job using a candy apple red with gold leafing. Not to mention the stunning portrait of Ernest's beloved Betty so that he can always take her memory along for the ride. Oh, you guys are awesome. Look at yeah, this. Look great. at this. Come that on, man. So great. You brought to us what I consider a historically significant motorcycle. This yeah. is what I would call like a mule bike, test bike. This bike had a lot of first off prototype things yeah. that SNS did. Yeah. Shannon made sure that the integrity of the history of this motorcycle was kept intact. The sheet metal is original, Ernest, except for the rear fender. I had to build you a new rear fender. Around the light is all steel. Yeah. There's no, there's no bondo fixed up. That came out beautiful. And here's the thing about the seat. There was something about that seat <laughs> that said there's history here, yeah. there's importance here, so the bike is brand new, but the seat tells the story. Yeah. George Smith at SNS. They wanted to buy the bike back. I said, call this guy, <laughs> not me. But they did give me a brand new SNS carburetor, so that's what's on your bike. So that's a brand oh. new SNS carb. Ryan, this oh, paint. That paint job is just awesome. God, tell me about this, man. Ernie, when Rex brought the bike in, yeah. it had an old faded candy paint job. It needed to be freshened up, and I needed a little class. That's why I added yeah. the gold leaf pinstriping on there. And of course, the picture of Betty. Oh, that my hurt? God. Yeah. Correct? Hi, uh, hi. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you had in mind, Ernie? Yeah. As you enjoy this bike, as you ride this bike, as you go out and have fun on this bike. Yeah. Betty, she be with you. This bike obviously means a lot to Ernest, and I love being able to take something like this back to her former glory. I know after 20 years, he can't wait to hop on this baby and take her for a ride. I just got to say, man, thank you for bringing us this project. Thank Gentlemen, you thank you. Rex, thank you, guys. thank you, my man. Thank you, guys. <laughs>